It is a prison custom to allow death row inmates to choose their last meal before being executed. Food preferences can indicate a lot about an individual, with death row meals being no exception. Some are over the top like the crimes that were committed by the notorious serial killers. Others were surprisingly simple and refined. Here's a list of notorious death row inmates and serial killers last meals. In 1979, Marion Albert Pruitt was given $800, the alias Charles Sonny Pearson, and put in the Federal Witness Protection Program for testifying about a murder in a federal prison in Atlanta. Pruitt then used his new alias to kill five people, including his wife. He said that he committed the murders to fund his cocaine addiction at his trial. He was found guilty and sentenced to death by lethal injection. Pruitt initially considered having a roast duck as his last meal, but he then opted for Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza, four Burger King Whoppers, french fries, fried squash, fried eggplant, fried okra, a whole pecan pie and three 2 liter Pepsi bottles. Stephen Woods was linked to the murder of Ron Whitehead and Bethina Bross after investigators found DNA evidence and obtained multiple witness accounts. Woods fled across the states until he was finally arrested and taken to court. Witnesses testified that Woods lured the two into isolation under pretense that he was selling them drugs and killed them since they knew about another murder he committed two months earlier. Before he was executed by lethal injection in 2002, Woods requested two pounds of bacon, a large four meat pizza, four fried chicken breasts, chicken fried steak, two hamburgers with bacon on french toast, french fries, garlic bread with marinara sauce, Mountain Dew, Pepsi, root beer, sweet tea and two pints of ice cream. One of America's most infamous serial killers, Ted Bundy kidnapped, raped and murdered many young girls and women during the 1970s. After over a decade of denying his guilt, he finally confessed to 30 homicides. But his true victim count is unknown. If you want to learn more about him, check out the video which is linked in the info card. Before his execution by electric chair in 1989, he declined to have one of the special last meals. So he was served the traditional steak dinner over easy eggs, hash browns, toast, milk, coffee, juice, butter and jelly. However, he did not eat any of his last meals. Stephen Anderson is a serial killer known to have at least 8 victims, including an 81-year-old retired piano teacher named Elizabeth Lyman. He broke into her house, cut her phone line, shot her in the face and sat down in her kitchen to eat some noodles and fried eggs. His meal was interrupted when the sheriff's deputies arrived on the scene. Before he was executed, Anderson requested to have two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mixture, a slice of peach pie, chocolate chip ice cream and radishes as his last meal. Lawrence Russell Brewer was arrested for torturing and killing a 49-year-old handicapped black male in Jasper County, Texas. Brewer and his partners drove to an isolated area where they beat the victim, tied him to a logging chain that they hooked up to a pickup truck and dragged him around until his death. The white supremacist ordered one of the largest meals of two fried chicken steaks with gravy, a triple meat bacon cheeseburger, a cheese omelet, fried okra, a pound of barbecued meat, half a loaf of white bread, three fajitas, a meat lover's pizza, three root beers, peanut butter fudge and ice cream. Brewer said he wasn't hungry and didn't eat any of his meals when it arrived. Because of his stunt, the state of Texas decided to stop granting last meal requests. 